have a system of education where you can still have a happy childhood where you feel joy and you can be prepared for being in the world. So this means creating an education that is in keeping with all aspects of the human being, not just with the head. Her experience there was that other students who had gone to Waldorf schools, Steiner School, had a really good ability to do multiple choice questions. I'll say the same thing I did last night, that to solve the problems that face human beings, we don't have multiple choice questions. This doesn't mean authority like this. This means authority like this. was young, she loved watching the magic shows. She had younger siblings, and when she turned around age 12 or 13, something inside her changed. She didn't want to hear anymore that they were just magic shows like her younger siblings. There arose in her a desire to understand the nature of what was happening and to explain it. So magic needed to be replaced with finding relationships, with relating what she was seeing with other aspects of the world. Steve did a wonderful job laying out this morning the idea of curriculum, methods, principles, and then beyond all that is self-development. So I will try to distinguish the different levels and how you might need to work, what the principles are, because the principles are the most important. But they're also the hardest to understand. I can give you a method, and that doesn't mean that you have to understand all of the principles to use the method. But we should keep coming back to the principles over and over to try to understand more deeply as we grow as teachers and as schools. Two and three in this are the basis for how Rudolf Steiner suggested that we try to teach science. On the head comes the capacity to make pictures of the world, mental pictures. So everybody do that, make a lot of pressure in your mouth. I think what Steve is suggesting through his lectures in the morning is that what we call Waldorf education must evolve. It can't stay the same. We can use the principles, we can use the methods, but how we teach what we teach can and should evolve. But we must be careful also to learn what we can from the wisdom of the people who came before. But we must be careful to still use the wisdom of what the people who came before have learned. Yes, yes, yes.